Hello, welcome to Find Truth 88. Tonight, let me take you, as we begin here, let me take you to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, reading this out of the King James Version, and I'll be sharing some of these messages out of the Amplified Version as well. But tonight, let me share this out of the King James, verse 10, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The Amplified Version says the strategies and deceits of the devil. Now let me stop right there. Paul says finally, right? So before we get to the finale, we do want to have an understanding of Ephesians chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5. And a couple of years back, and I've mentioned this several times, a couple of years back, I shared months on Ephesians all the way up to verse 10 of Ephesians chapter 6. Okay, so now I'm really starting to press in here to Ephesians chapter 6 and putting on the armor of God. You know, I like how my wife Esther uh, said just a couple of days ago where it says to put on the whole armor of God. That's that's action. Action is required of us. OK, we can't just sit back and float in the boat. Uh, uh, there is uh, action required to put on the armor of God. So if you're one of those Christians who just believe that you are going to receive the strength of the Lord through osmosis and sitting on your thumb, well then you're 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 not gonna you're not gonna receive none of the benefits of walking as a strong believer in Christ Jesus. To the contrary, you actually be walking in rebellion and living for the devil and you will be producing no fruit of the Holy Spirit in your life. And in Second Timothy chapter two Second, excuse me, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 5, uh, Paul goes on to describe these individuals as having a form of godliness. However, they are denying the power thereof. I want to, uh, I want to share uh, something that's really on my heart. This is just a really quick, quick message here, but I want to, I want to point, I want to point this one thing out, uh, one more thing here that really stands out here in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14. Of course, you know, we see in these several verses here that we're to take a stand. We're to stand, we're to stand, we're to stand, we're to stand in the Lord. Stand, stand strong in the Lord, in his truth, in his word. Because when we're standing, uh, where is the devil at? When we're standing, uh, the devil's under our feet. So if we refuse to take a stand, and like many Christians do today, uh, you you start to begin to get an understanding of why the devil is ruling in their life and why they can't overcome sin because they refuse to take a stand. Thus, the enemy is not under their feet where he belongs. Verse 14. Stand therefore, this is a very key verse here, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. Now let me stop right there. I think about Colossians chapter 2 verses 6 and 7. Speaking of how we are to be rooted in Christ Jesus, rooted in truth. Hello, I think about Psalms chapter 1 uh, verse 1 through 3. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. He will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose roots go, go deep. And when the drought comes, he shall not, his, his, his leaf shall not wither. Turning there right now. And then, uh, I'm going to share one last thing here. 
But this is key too. Something I just left out here in uh, Psalm chapter one. But here it is. Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in the word of God. His delight is in truth. As spoken of in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14. And in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season. Uh, you know, and again, it's important that we be Holy Spirit led. And when we submit our lives to the Spirit of Christ, then we will pr produce the fruit of the spirit. We will produce the fruit of Jesus Christ in our life. See, when we reject the Holy Spirit, we reject Jesus Christ. It's really that simple. And we see that a lot of Christians today, they, they want to play, they want to, they want to straddle both sides of the fence. It just don't work that way. Now, verse 14 here in Ephesians chapter 6, you know, one of the things that I think about here, and also with Psalms chapter 1, blessed is the man who who uh, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Okay, so if we want to receive blessings from the Lord, then we, we should stop hanging around these clowns. Stop hanging around these fools. Stop hanging around individuals who are more concerned about their personality than the word. More concerned about their personality and their fame than walking in truth. So if, if we want, if we don't, if look, if we don't want to have a curse following that, that, that cloud of curse following cloud of curses following us around as we walk day to day, then we need to depart from these deceivers. And I know the deceivers are so charming and, and, and they're popular and they make, they make so many people feel good. They're motivational. They're, they're, there's so many motivational snake in the grass. Snakes in the grass rolling around here on the internet. See, the snakes in the grass are really some of the most motivational speakers here on YouTube. Hello? And they're cute and they're charming, just like Satan in Genesis chapter 1. We see that, right? We see that Jesus says that the enemy comes uh, dressed as an angel of light. We see that Jesus warned us to beware of wolves who come to you dressed as harmless, gentle, innocent sheep. We see that the Lord said that there would be tares amongst the wheat. I mean, I can go on and on with this. So we must be in truth. We must be in his word. We must spend time with the Lord. There's no shame in spending alone time with the Lord. There's no shame in getting to know the Lord. It's no shame in saying, yo, 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 I'm, I, I can't answer your call today. I, 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 I got to get in my prayer closet and spend time with the Lord and get in truth. Which brings me to the uh, last thing. Not It's last but not least, as the old saying goes. I want to bring up some teachers that I have some respect for. Great respect for here on the internet. I encourage you to uh, visit my homepage here. Uh, here on YouTube. And uh, check out the Teachers of Truth. The recommended channels that I have on the homepage here. At Find Truth 88, teachers of truth. Now, these are individuals who, over time, because you know, when look, you can look at a person for a month and two, but when you take, when you step back and you look over, look at what they've been teaching over a period of time, uh, a year, two years, three years, you really get more of an understanding of what they are all about. Uh, it, it's important that we do, uh, you know pass the test of time, right? Because time, time will tell you, you give it, get enough, give it enough time and it will tell on you. Now we all make mistakes. We all fall. Now, now we know even in Proverbs, it says, though a righteous man falls seven times, yet he rises again. So if we, if we never made mistakes and we, and we never fail, then that verse wouldn't even be in the scripture. So we, we all know that we, we all make mistakes. But then you also have another group of individuals who they make mistakes and then they simmer in their mistakes. 
like a crock pot. They simmer in their mistakes like a like a like a stew. They just sit there and stew and simmer in their mistakes. They backstroke and they relax in their error. They turn the grace of our God into lasciviousness and ungodly living. And, and Jude brought that up in verse three and four of the book of Jude. And see, so we're seeing both sides of this. Now that's not, the Holy Spirit has nothing to do with individuals who are turning the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ into ungodly, immoral living. Now they, they, they may claim that they are godly, but believe me and believe the word of God more importantly as again, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3, uh, verse, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5 states, they, are, they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power, the Holy Spirit. And again, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. See, our, our walk is centered around the Holy Spirit. Hello? Jesus Christ left us his spirit. We see that in John 14, 26. We see that, this, uh, that the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. We see that in John 16, 13. So, so many people talk about the blood of Jesus Christ, but then they go and reject his spirit. And the Holy Spirit living in the life of the believer is a direct work of the cross. Jesus shed his blood so his spirit would live in us. So when you reject his spirit, you're rejecting the work of the cross. I want to bring up some teachers, though, here on YouTube that I have great respect for. I want to bring up Jerome, an uh, individual. He's got a smaller channel. I've been watching him for quite some time now. Really haven't been commenting or anything in his, in his videos. Uh, but I've been watching, and I, I just appreciate so greatly the truth that he speaks on his channel. He's not there for popularity. He's not there for fame, but he shares the word of God. And, and, and you know, that is, that is a, a refreshing thing in the hour that we're living in. Uh, Brother Tally. Now, Brother Tally, uh, you know, I'm not here trying to give these individuals any kind of, uh, I'm not trying to puff these individuals up, obviously, because I don't believe in that. But thank God for individuals who submit to the living God, to, who submit to our Lord Jesus Christ and are obedient, obedient to his will. Thank God for teachers. Thank God for the ministries. And see, and the Lord created the ministry. And so thank God for the teachers who don't take that and pervert it. And now Brother Tadley, he is one of the very, 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 very few of the large channels here on YouTube that actually speak truth. One of the very, 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 very few individuals who have not let his large uh, audience go to his head. Hello. Now, thank God. I, I just, I've been watching him for years as well. And brother Tally, I just, I just want to say thank you. Thank God that I can turn on YouTube and, and see a video like yours or, or Jerome pop up. And there be, be you know, I, I just know that there's going to be truth, that he's going to bring the truth. So I just, just want to say thank you, Tally. Uh, last but not least, and then there's others that are listed on the uh, Teachers of Truth, uh, the, the channels that I'm recommended. I encourage you to take a look at all the names, but I'm just going to name these three individuals tonight. Last but not least, last but not least, Brother Drew. Now, Brother Drew, I've been watching him now a little bit over a year. He took a slight break, you know, and when he took that break, you know, it, 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 it crossed my mind. Do I, do I remove his name off of that list? Because there's so very few teachers here on the Internet teaching truth. And I, I just I, I pondered that for uh, several weeks. And then, I, uh, you know, I, I just felt like that his name belonged in that list. And I believed in my heart that he would come back. Uh, it's important that we stand in truth. It's important that we base our study in the word of God. And that we spend time with the Lord and have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, teachers can come. Teachers can go. 
But if you're rooted in truth, if you're rooted in the word, then you will stay on that path. You'll stay, you'll stay on the right path. We, we don't put our walk and faith in teachers. Thank God for teachers. We don't put our faith and walk in them, though. Regardless, though, I, I really felt that Drew would come back. Drew's an individual who speaks truth, who's, who stands for truth, and again, uh, has, a, have a, has enough humility to admit the wrongs that's in his life. So this, this is not some kind of popularity trip where we come here and we, we just brag about how righteous we are, okay? And, you know, you've heard me share things uh, that uh, has, has gone on in my life. I even had Esther turn to me when I shared that instance, what happened in our marriage a year ago. She turned to me, you, you actually shared that on camera? You know, where that incident, incident where I hit her. And this was uh, 20 years ago now. And see, and that's where the Holy Spirit convicted me. And I had a decision to make. I could play church and make excuses and say that the blood of Jesus covers that. Or I could get up and take action and get in the word, get in the truth, submit myself to godly teachers who spoke truth and keep my mouth shut and learn and be mentored. And that's the route that I chose to take. And so it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. And, and the Lord has done many more things in my life. And see, because we, we will always be on that road going from glory to glory. And so we see that, that Drew, he, the, the, the thing that he's overcome now that with, the, with the tobacco and that the Lord is working in him. And see, and that's, that's where we want to position ourselves. So, and you've heard me say this about, I think it was about three, four weeks ago. Don't get caught up with individuals who are putting themselves up on pedestals like they're perfect. Okay. Because we all need the Holy Spirit's leading and guiding in our walk. And believe me, the Holy Spirit's working on me still. <laughs> Hello. As long as we're on this planet, we'll be going from glory to glory. Now, that's not an excuse for me to kick back and relax and uh, backstroke in sin. Now you're seeing a lot of people saying that too, but that's 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 incorrect. There's so many people out here. Their channel is all about how uh, an individual who 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 commented this a, a month ago or so said it's about their brand. There's so many channels today, and this is so true. There's so many channels out there. It's about an individual's brand and their personality and their charm and their pers and their and their popularity. And their PayPal button. Hello. We're seeing so much of this. But thank God for that. And again, let me kind of go full circle here. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14. And, and, let, and let me just say this once again. I just want to say thank you to the teachers of truth uh, who stand up and speak the truth. Thank you, Brother Jerome, Brother Tally, but Brother Drew, and the others who are on the, that list of teachers of truth on the homepage, I have great respect for you guys. I know you guys are not perfect, but thank God that we can can turn to the Lord, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, and allow Him to lead and guide our walk and and re receive His correction and rebuke in our life, and not have a bad attitude toward that. Uh, I like to say also, don't diss the Holy Spirit. Okay. And uh, we see a lot of people choosing to uh, live that way. Ephesians chapter 6, and I'll end the message with this. Reading again, verse 14. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. So we want to be strong in the Lord, then, then we, we, we should be excited about truth. Okay, we, we should be on fire about truth. We shouldn't have a bad attitude about truth. And sometimes there's going to be a hard word that's going to be spoken in our life. Uh, we have to be uh, grown up enough. We have to be man enough and woman enough to accept it and, and receive it and say, Lord, lead me along the paths of righteousness uh, like spoken of in Psalms 23. Well, that's my message tonight. Uh, I appreciate you all. I, I just pray that the Lord... Uh, God Almighty, give you grace, peace, and favor. Uh, until next time, God bless you, and good night.